Hello everyone, welcome back to our single player world. What we are doing today is we are starting off this episode with a time lapse. And before I go any further, if you guys want to do something like what I'm doing right now, I'm using the replay mod, which is something that allows you to record your gameplay and come back and look at it a bit later. So that is how I've done this. And there will be a link in the description below. So if you guys are going to ask me for it, you know where it is. And now what we are going to be doing is we are going to be going through a few little pointers on this build. And I'm going to talk to you about what I've got planned for this episode. And before I get going any further, what I'm doing here is I'm just planning out this build as I'm going. I'm just putting in my pillars, putting in my walls, making sure they all match up. And what you can see right about now is I figure out that I've actually put some of these pillars on the left in the wrong spot. You can see there, just fixing them up. And that's a tip I can give you guys. If ever you find you're doing a big build and you, you've done a mistake like that, which could, I mean, I could have probably got away with that mistake, but everything would have just been so much harder if I had not just corrected it then and there. So just check up on yourself as you go, make sure you don't leave anything too long, because else what's gonna happen is you're gonna regret it in the end and the build's just gonna not feel as fun as it should have felt. So this over here, what I'm doing is I've just gone ahead, added a few details to the outside of the walls. It's not a completed build, let me tell you this. We, by the end of this, we're not, not finished at all. In fact, I go ahead and do the roof now, and I just plan out the roof with connecting all the pieces together here first, and then I kind of add in the little bits. But one thing I didn't like about this roof is it's very, very chunky. It's all just the same color, the same tone. All The problem with the spruce is all of the planks run in the same direction, so it, it looks very, very boring when you look at it in the end. Not only that, I think the shape wasn't something I was 100% happy with when I had this big piece here, so I've still got a few ideas to ha on how to fix it, but that'll be... That'll be a few a few days away at least. Now, carrying on, I also want to ask you guys another question and a, a favor really. So if you guys could tell me whether or not my microphone audio was doing a lot better today than what it was in the last episode, I'd love to, I'd love to have some feedback on that because I've done a few changes. I've got a new microphone actually, and that wasn't actually the issue in the last one, but coincidentally we've got one and uh, it's it should be a lot better now. So let me know down in the comment section. I would love to love to know. Besides that, I think what we can do now is we can go ahead and get prepared for this episode of Wither Fighting, Building, and probably something else. Let's get started on today's stuff. First of all, what we are doing right now is we're going to be starting our brand new town. Because we finished our last village, and that is actually, let me just double check that I'm, ch I'm pointing you in the right direction. Just over there, if I, if I am completely correct. Shouldn't be too far, probably about 100 or 200 blocks in that direction there. There's a big sea over here. This is actually where we came a few episodes ago when we were looking for uh, some igloos and a polar bear and all that stuff. There's actually a polar bear. There's a polar bear right there. Perfect. So this village that I'm thinking of here, and I think it's very important to maybe, maybe just get a little bit of an idea of what we are building before we start building it. You know, I mean, what, what, why is this village here? A bit of the law behind the village. So as we know, we've, we're going to be having a main city down over that way. And I'm planning on this village being an outer-lying village, maybe one that somewhat submits to that the larger rule of the kingdom, but still lives on its own here in the middle of in the middle of nowhere. It's not a huge one, but it's definitely one that's concerned with with the war that will be going on in this world. So I feel like that that's something we should probably have a have a think about there at least. What well, well while we're building it at least. And the reason why I think this one should be involved with a lot of a lot of like war ongoings is because. I want this one to be in a funnel. So I'm thinking that over here on this side, we're going to have a large mountain. And you can see over here where the, the ground is actually generated like this. I want to continue this one up and make another large mountain in on this side. So it's actually in the middle of a valley. And the way that these people sustain themselves is, of course, through hunting, through a bit of their own their own crops that they'll be growing. Because remember, this is this is in the snow, you know, we, this is going to be an interesting build, actually. I've never, never built in the snow. So I think, I think this will be a bit of fun. Uh, a lot of the ideas that I'm thinking of as well, ref like, revolve around the village being snowed in. So I want, I want there to be a lot of, a lot of trouble with dealing with snow in here. I want it to be a very cold place. And I'll, I'll just think we could, we can do a lot with this. So I think it'll be really, really interesting. What I'm doing here is I'm just busy doing an entrance. Because as I say, this place is going to be, in my mind at least, is, is a, a war infested place. It's got a lot of, a lot of war going on here, a lot of, well, not necessarily war, but prepared for the war, you know what I mean? Prepared for if there's, if there's ever an invasion for, of, of the capital, I guess will be the thing. But of course, of course, having these ideas is not necessarily the way we're going to choose to go in the end, but it puts us on a, a good path. And I think that's been, that's been something that helps me build a lot is if you've got an idea of what the story is behind the build, 
you know why you're building. You can add a lot of things to it that you, you wouldn't normally add to it just because you thought about it. Like this over here. I'm just going to check how this comes out. This this seemed all right in my head. It's one of those ideas that I thought would be a good idea. But how does it look in... Yeah, I don't know if I actually like that too much. But maybe once we've got a few of them, it'll look like there's a, a bit of a wooden wall that's been put up here. Just to just to separate this over here, put up with logs. That, that could be all right. That could be all right. We'll, we'll build it up a little bit more. I also want to just go and lay out a little bit of the boundary of where the where the mountain's going to start coming up, but I, I, I'm not going to be building a mountain today, that's for sure. In fact, this actually seems like the terrain might be kind of good just for me to do this. There, like that. Okay, cool. So, this is my plan with the village, at least in my head right now, we can go ahead and, and mark out a few ideas together, is as you walk in here, you're going to be seeing a little bit of an open area with some houses on this side, some houses on this side, and a main area in the middle here. This is sort of like a communal area where we'll have a large, I don't know why I zoomed in there, a very large hut with a, a, fl a fire going on in the inside, just where, where the whole community here just keeps warm. That's my thought with this. Then we'll also have to have a, a chieftain of the village, like the person in charge running this village. I want to have, I want to have a major house, maybe even on the top of this mountain that we have over here, overlooking what we could see coming, like coming from afar. And then besides that, I'm thinking a lot of braziers around the place. So those are like giant fire torches, for instance, over here. We'll have one, just a big flame over here, a big flame around there, just scattered around the place. It's not going to be the biggest of villages, but I think it's going to be a nice, nice little build by the time we're done with it. Actually, this is going nighttime right now. So what I think I'm going to do is because I haven't got too much done with this, I want to go ahead and get it started. I want to build this gatehouse today. I think this will be really, really cool if we can make the wall, make a gatehouse over here. And then we can come back to this at a later, like, well, I mean, probably next episode and go ahead and start building maybe even this little piece in the middle here, maybe a house, but we'll, we'll see how we go. All right. So quick update on the wall and I'll get to what I was just looking at right there. The wall, I think, is looking all right. So this is where we're going to have our gatehouse. You can see I've gone ahead and I've added in a bit of the spruce, like normal spruce planks. And I think they work pretty good just to make it look broken and make it look a little bit more just not not the same color, <laughs> pretty much. In fact, when I started that other wall, I realized very, very soon that having them all next to each other really doesn't look very good because they're all so, so dark that you can't see the, the difference of like the little shadow in the middle or anything like that. So definitely doing that, I think, has made a pretty good, a pretty good difference. Let me just take a little step back again and bam. Yeah, good. I think we can work with that. So now my, my vision of this, at least, what do I see? I see like a, a tower sticking out here, like a little watchtower here, another one here, and that will make up the gatehouse, like the entrance to the place. Then as we go in, I've gone ahead and started where I'm going to be putting the very first house in here. And for this house, I'm thinking it'll be kind of cool to try these thicker planks, like doing two on either side versus where I normally put one in there, I'm putting two on either side. I'm trying to see if that will make a really nice bulky look to this place. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in the walls. And the way I'm doing these walls is just by going randomly, more or less, with the with the stone and cobblestone and andesite and stone brick, just to make this look like it's a, a, a stone wall that's been built up and, and cracked and everything. So I don't, I don't want to go again with the spruce. Take it that way. I don't want to go with spruce planks because we've already used spruce planks. I think oak planks would look a little bit too bright in this place. So I think going with this design might actually be the best possible design. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to do what I know is best and put these down by themselves like that. Just just fill up that and then I'll, I'll get rid of the... I'll just go ahead and, and do this. This is pretty much how I, I do the texturing and stuff. I like do that, do that, like slowly but surely taking pieces out, putting pieces back in. So that is the plan at least. That's uh, That's my idea of this. And then what I'm going to continue on doing is I'm going to just keep going up here. Up to about this height here, I'm going to be putting on a roof, and then there'll be a second second level over here as well. So that's that's where the interesting bits come in, because we're going to have to work out what type of roof we're going to be doing. And the roof I'm kind of thinking of is probably going to be a very blocky pitched roof, and I, I, I want to just try it out. Alrighty, now it is update time, and I want to quickly go through some ideas I have for the roof. So you can see I'm just trying out a few designs here just for for some of the shape and detailing and stuff that we've been going for. So I've gone ahead, I've put in all of the pillars and all of the support over here for the build and all the walls in. And I've, oh, I've even got a few extra blocks every every now and then. Uh, but you can see just a very, very basic rough shape that we're going to end up 
polishing off and making it look a lot, a lot, lot, much, much better. <laughs> like so much better than what, what it looks like right now. So let's get rid of that and we'll come up here. I'll do it from the inside so we can actually see a little bit better. My idea for the roof, because that's what we're about to work on right now, is something that is very, very pitched, of course, that snow would not get stuck on. And one that is also, let me just go out this way. Uh, one that we can also have a lot of full blocks on because I want to do something that I think could be kind of cool with the snow. Okay, that is too tall. Maybe if we come down one more block. Maybe just one more block and that should be all right. So we'll give this a go again. Uh, oh. That's not the one. That's the one. <laughs> all right. So in this situation, I feel like coming down there. Let me just go double check before I start again. Now, uh, building the roof from the top might be a better idea. Yep, that's not too ridiculously tall, not too short either. Uh, but I think building from the, the top of the roof, even though normally I'd go from the outside here, like I'd normally start on this side and go out. Because we've got this weird edge, because we've got the speci specified height, I think it's much better off that we just go from the top of the roof here like this. And then we, we try and see what kind of a, a pitch we get. Okay, this is just looking like a pretty normal, normal pitched roof. <laughs> Oh man, maybe I might have to go a little bit taller, but I don't want to make him too ridiculously tall. All right, so I'll show you. I'll tell you my plan because I think we're gonna actually go for this height, and I know it looks kind of boring, but I'm sure you'll be quite happy when you see what what we turn out with. I I would hope you guys would be because I feel like it's gonna be a good idea. Maybe actually, I've got these. No, I won't use them. Uh, what could I use? I want to. I want to maybe. Yeah, let's just let's just go for cobblestone. Let's go for cobblestone. So what I want to do here, this is what I'm, I'm thinking about, is I want to just put in these over here, another one in. So that's going to be holding up that, will it? Yeah. Then I'll need another one in over here. And then we'll go up again. And I'll show you what I'm doing here. So if we go ahead and place in two blocks on that one, that one, then we can put another one of these in here, put in two there. We could have a pretty cool looking design here by the end of it. So let's do that. One, two. And again, one, two. And it's all just experimenting. Of course, there's always, always room to change it. Such as now. <laughs> that is horrible. So this is what I ended up coming up with. I've just gone ahead for this really like very steep sloped roof. I mean, you're going up two blocks, each block you go uh, to either side. So if you're going horizontally one block, you are vertically two blocks. And I've gone a little bit lower with it just to test this out, see how it looks when we go a bit lower. What I was really trying to do with the cobblestone in the last one was trying to create a little bit of like fake support going on there, but it just didn't work. So good thing I stepped back and had a look at that because that was very, very terrible. Uh, so one thing I do have to do with this roof is I have to take out a few chunks of this roof just because, well, the, of the wall, sorry, to fit in the roof. Just because the wall is actually in the way, and in fact, this is going to be an interesting one here. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to get rid of this pillar. I'll redo the pillar a bit later. But yeah, this, this is just a bit of the, the planning that has to go in to get these roofs working. And I was thinking of going for the most simple shaped roof. I'm not going to go for any crazy, like crazy business of getting extra things on the roof, like um, an extra curve or anything for this one at least, because I feel like this roof over here is going to look good without the curves, and you'll see why we need the curves if uh, if my plan with the snow works in a, in a few in a few minutes' time. So what I'm going to keep doing is, of course, kept putting in this roof more and more, and also what I think would be good, kind of good, just uh, at this point of the video to break it up just a little bit is maybe get our wither fighting on. Okay, it's wither fighting time. I've gone ahead. I've put a spawn up there by setting our um, our bed. I can hear zombies and everything above us there. So I've gone ahead and cleared out an area in one of these mine shafts here. This was where we started mining at the very beginning of this world. This is in the extreme hills biome, uh, if you guys remember that. So you can see here's some stuff. Bam. Little wither spot. Now I've come, I think, somewhat under geared. I've got, actually, we may as well put these on our hut bar. Uh, I don't need those, don't need those. I'll keep that, that, and perfect. All right. Uh, so I think we've come reasonably under geared because I've only got three apples and I've got four cooked chicken. So if we run out of food, uh, it's not going to be a good time. <laughs> it's not going to be a good time. However, if I remember correctly, the weather wasn't actually too hard the last time we fought it. So let's just go for it. 
Okay, so night vision. Uh, drop that. Explode, please. There we go. Okay. Uh, okay. We've only got a little bit. I feel like this won't be too bad. Yeah, if it's going that way, it's kind of avoiding us. Okay, well, there we are with it. Okay, finally. Is this its, um... It goes through that stage where it can only have a bit of, uh... Where it can only be hit with a sword, so I think it's gonna be soon enough, anyway. The problem is I can't see where my health is right now. Okay, uh, we're doing alright, we're doing alright. I think that should help us out a little bit. Okay, okay. Oh, I never knew the weather actually generate regenerated itself. Okay, let's let's get this guy. Oh, easy. We got this. We got this. We got this. Super easy. I knew that. I knew we could make it. <laughs> I knew we could make it. In fact, this is all currently very dim lighting, so we probably should. Uh, let's just eat this last apple, so we don't die. All right, perfect. So I guess we've got ourselves a beacon now. What is that on the oh, health server there? Okay, we're good, we're good. So yeah, we've got a beacon now, but I don't really have any need for a beacon. It's really just because, I mean, next episode's episode 10. So if you guys are coming on the world and you guys have a very big plan, you've got a beacon now. We can make, we can make this beacon together. And not only that, I mean, you obviously we've got that, but we've got it for future projects as well, where we can go ahead and do some some pretty big builds, and I've got a lot of big things planned. In fact, uh, I want to go ahead and put this thing next time I mine down and just destroy an entire an entire area with um with our haste. I think I've got a, a I've got an efficiency five. That's my efficiency five pick. Perfect. So yeah, we will be able to do some pretty crazy mining with this thing. Although, as I say, it's it's not really too necessary. I just had the the, the skulls, and I thought you know we're in the fighting spirit. May as well continue it on from the last episode. So what I want to do now is go back to the new village. And one thing I want to do is show you how the roof has turned out. And then we can also go ahead and add some small details to make that house look quite well completed. Okay, this is what it is looking like. And I want to go and do a few things to that. But before we carry on any further, I want to just make the very first beacon. Because I feel like we'll probably end up getting a uh, an advancement for it. It's an advancement now, not achievement, right? Oh, no, nothing. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. That was kind of a letdown. I thought we'd get something for crafting it. All right, so carrying on with this house, I want to quickly, first of all, put in a door here because, I mean, that's important. So first of all, door done. Check. And by the way, I've come around this side here and I haven't actually completed everything. You can see I've actually got a few little gaps here that I've got to fill in. Just small things on the roof that, that have to get done eventually. Okay. So doing this here, and the top roof will will leave for a bit, and I'll I'll do that separately. Uh, I've got this piece here, which I had on this side, which I can't leave in. Obviously, it just it won't work with this over here, which isn't a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there, and I'm gonna put that design on all of the win or like all of the other walls. So if I go in here, like on these ones here and these ones here. But the cool thing about this is also that I can put in a window, and it won't look too weird. So in fact, I can do this here, like that. And this one, actually, I wanted to put... I'll, 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 I'll get to that now. So, we'll go from the outside here, and I need just a little bit of what I'm going to go for stained white glass. And I think the stained white will look significantly nicer in the snow here versus the light blue or the stained cyan glass. So, we'll do that and do that. I know I've got a bunch of stained glass over at the flower farm. I made it because I thought I was, I was going to cover in the flowers, but you know what? It just didn't work out. It didn't work out at all. So, here we go. I could put in this one over here, and then one of these over here. And I know it's a little window. Uh, can I click the wrong thing once more, please? <laughs> there we go, okay. See, just a little window. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I like that white. I don't know, it looks a little bit nicer in my head, but we can always give it a try. Let's just give it a little bit of a try. And if, if in another few days we don't like it, then I'll change it up. So the next thing I was going to do was going to add some support in here. So you see, just adding in these underneath really makes it look like it's uh, well supported. So like that. And I'll go up a bit. Let me grab those. Those will be good. And then I've got one final thing which I was talking about with the roof that I have to do. But 
I'm gonna have to go back to our main base to quickly go grab some something, unless I can come across one on my way to it. But uh, you'll you'll see what I'm talking about when I get to it. There and there. So adding these in just makes them look a little bit less blocky. You know how it, it had this very sharp edge? Let's have a look. See, maybe, maybe it's gone a bit too much the other way. No, I don't mind that. I think that works quite well. So as I said, we, we want snow to be falling on this roof and not being held up on the roof, of course. Here it is, guys. We're getting a bunch of these things, and actually, I, I really needed to enter them to my inventory before that. Let me get rid of those, those, and... I guess we can get rid of that for a bit. There we go. Cool. So, this is the plan. Make a bunch of these here, just like that, that. In fact, I can just do the... Why does that not do it? Uh, that should be it. This should be it. That should work, right? That's the thing. Is it not? I'm pretty sure I should be able to do that. Okay, cool. Maybe maybe I have to start without anything in the in the bench. That is so useful. Look at that. So quickly. All done. Wonderful. All right. Let's just grab these last few and I can get started on my new master plan. There we go. Perfect. So the plan is that what we're going to do is we're going to make these roofs look as if snow has been falling on them for a while, as if they... They've just built up a bunch of snow over time, and it's just kind of hanging off the edges. And that's why I needed full blocks, because you can't actually put snow on a half block, as, as many of you guys will know. And that's that's just a little bit annoying. But, well, we've worked a way around it, and I think this will this will work out alright. So, let's just go ahead and start from the top here. Okay, let me, let, me, let me actually just build my way up. There we go. Functional snow, that's what I like to think of it as. So, actually helping us out. There we go. So the plan is in these sorts of areas here where it's really, really like, I don't know, it, it's it's converging. That's the word. That's the word I'm looking for. Where it converges like this, I feel like they should really have a lot more snow because, of course, you got the runoff from here. You got the runoff from this roof, and that that's going to make the snowy these areas a lot more snowier. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I think we're actually going to go through the snow very, very quickly looking at how, how much I've already gone through. There we go. Just stuff like that. And let's just go jump. Oh, I don't have my wings on. Yeah, I reckon that'll work. Just give me a second, and I'll, uh, I'll report back with some extra snow stuff. Right, so that's how it came out, and I'm not very, very happy with this, so I'm actually gonna get rid of it. But, I think that this uh, concept does have some merit in it somewhere. I feel like maybe, at some stage, this idea will work, because I thought it was actually gonna work quite well, but it turns out it didn't work very, very well. Maybe a, a thin layer of snow on the roof every now and then might be alright, but it just doesn't have the same effect as what I thought it was gonna have, so that's, that's a pity, though. But I'm going to keep it in mind for some other time because I feel like we could get it to work maybe on another type of roof or maybe somewhere else because I've, I've done something similar to this in my last world and I actually even tried just playing it around with getting rid of these blocks and putting in in snow instead but that didn't didn't work out either. So yeah, that's that's the thing. You know, you never always win it. You don't always win it, but uh, you, do, you do give it a go. So we've learned something from this. Don't put big roofs like this with snow on it. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, there we go. Get rid of that. By the way, I actually forgot. I was wondering why these were all, all fully healed, and I realized I've actually put mending on these the other day. I've, I went exploring a few end cities, and I got some mending books. Well, not mending. I got mending armor that I just combined with that. So we've got some pretty good good legs and feet, but these two are lacking a little bit. But we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there eventually. So for today, guys, I think this will be the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys... Enjoy the new village. I think it's going to start off like it'll start off with this a little building and then we're going to go into some of the, of the bigger things. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much.